We're uh, here at the Toronto Cider Festival 2018. Farmed and Dangerous, brand new on the market. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're offering today? Sure, my name's uh, Claude Lefebvre. I'm the owner-operator of North American Craft. Uh, we started off as a beer importer back in uh, January of 2011 and have been bringing uh, beers to the uh, LCBO market and decided to uh, lend a hand in manufacturing our own cider for the LCBO. So tell us what you have here today. Brand new, just on the market, as uh, as you sort of said, LCBO just came out. Yes. What are the what would someone who's trying it expect? Well, this is six point five percent alcohol, so it packs a, a slightly bigger punch. Uh, the sugar content on this is very low. It's only twelve grams of sugar per tall boy can. So we come in on the dry side of cider. We use Red Delicious by Macintosh and Empire Apples, and this is actually our Goodwill brand which means I'm also working with the Canadian Agriculture Safety Association and pledging a dollar a case to go back into farm safe programs. And it's uh, 6.5, a little potent, powerful. It's a little stronger than most, yes, because uh, most ciders are 5%. Uh, we're definitely a little higher. How did the uh, marketing idea and all of the what comes back to the charity side come up? Uh, it's, a, it's a true story, actually. I, um, the, one of the individuals I farm with uh, ended up losing uh, its left leg in a farming accident and uh, at the end of the day what I wanted my takeaway from the conversation was simple it made me think how uh, farming is dangerous and uh, within five minutes of me hitting the road to call on another LCBO I had the image of our farmed and dangerous uh, brand pop in my head and uh, reached out to the Canadian Agriculture Safety Association to see if there was something I can do to support our injured or fallen farmers. Very cool and very unique angle to look at. Uh, what have been some of the challenges that you've come up with uh, just starting out on the cider side of things? To be honest with you, I mean, we've been pretty fortunate. I've been in the industry for 20 years and uh, I've worked for a number of breweries in the past and uh, I understand the distribution and logistics of uh, the Ontario Channel. Um, our biggest thing was is we didn't want to get into a, a situation where supply and demand was going to be a, a big challenge for us later on down the road which is the reason why we're using four different uh, varieties of apples to ensure that we do not get into a challenge or a crisis of not having enough product for the market. Have you found that uh, distribution or access to the, the general public has been something that's been a problem or do we keep finding more and more cider fans? No, I think cider is hot, cider is growing. Um, it's, uh, it's also one of those things where getting access to the LCBO market has been amazing. Uh, I've had nothing but great uh, will and, and, and goodwill, sorry, being able to work with the uh, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. We've also supported our, our, our goodwill through a TTC ad campaign that is advertised on 200 subway cars and 80 street cars to build awareness for our initiative, which is also captured on the back of our can. So I think for us, it's, this is our first festival promoting Farmed and Dangerous. Uh, but beyond that, we will be doing more in the future. But our biggest thing is right now is it's liquid to lips to get people to try our cider. And where can people get a chance to try it or find more information? Toronto Cider Festival, pouring all weekend. And on top of that, we are available at the LCBO. And uh, check out uh, northamericancraft.ca for future uh, upcoming uh, events that we'll have in Ontario. Best of luck for the rest of the night tonight on the Friday and all day tomorrow. Get locked in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.